man. Becky, we haven't got room for any more of these things. Well, can't we stow it in Sally Martin's soap kettle? There's no soap kettle. Oh, dear. It must still be on board the ship. That's all this wagon needs is a 100-pound soap kettle. Now, Daniel Boone, we only bought what the people back home have to have. The way Cincinnati's been lately, Boonesburg might as well not have a store. Oh, don't fuss. I'll go see if it's on the ship. Well, never mind. I'll go. Just in case anything else is forgotten, I'll go along. I'd better tell Israel. Israel? Israel! Yes, ma'am? Your father and I are going down to the dock. We'll be back in a little while. Can I go, too? I want to see what the new ship brought in. Not until you've had your breakfast. Yes, ma'am.
Was that a real man? That he was. But so small. Yeah, that's why we call him Short Joseph. He was a good shipmate. Uh, Will Scattaway's my name. I'm a seafarer lad. Israel Boone. What was that name again? Israel Boone. My father's Daniel Boone. You probably know him. Israel? I had a shipmate named Israel aboard the old Peril. He ended up climbing the king's rope. Does that mean hung? Aye, aye, that he was. A king's rope? Died cursing as noble as a belted earl. Is he a pirate? Now, if you're going to use that kind of language, yes. The Jolly Roger was our flag, lad. Buccaneer's politer. Square deals his name, and the deals the deals his motto. He stole my newly minted silver crown. Stole? You mean he took it without giving you something in return? A bundle of needles. Well, then stole ain't the word, is it, son? But they weren't even his needles. He took them off my pa's wagon. A deal's a deal. If I were you, I'd hold my tongue. Your honesty is in judgment. Ah, oh, my lad, he takes to you. Here you are, square deal. He also took to my silver crown. Well, you shall have it back, my boy, if that's what you desire. Why wouldn't I? Israel? Ah, that name takes me back. <laughs> I tell you, suppose, suppose you take back your silver crown, eh, lad? And, and you give him back his needles. Nothing gained, nothing lost, right? But suppose the next time he's to bring you something ten times worth what he takes. Where would you stand then, huh? I don't know how you mean. Well, you go back on him now. Could you take advantage of him then? No, <laughs> you couldn't. <laughs> Absolutely not. Will you? Will you share? Will you share a little rum with us, huh? No, sir. No, thank you, sir. All right, here you are, square deal. There you go. Now let's see. What? What? What can I offer you? A coconut. A coconut? Nectar and ambrosia from the South Seas, my boy. To the hundred thousand men, may they rise up from the dead, and may we prove to be true shipmates to the end. Drink up, lad, drink up. Will Scalloway! Will Scalloway! Somebody's calling you. Yeah, I heard. Go on, go on, get out there. Let him see you. Will, why didn't you sing out? I came with... Belay it, ass! Now, uh, son, you'd you, you get better go. Fry with me, fry with me. Thank you, I'd like to. Glad to meet you, sir. Yeah, yeah, same to you. Thank you for the coconut. Yeah, thank you for the coconut. Uh, well, I... That's a Daniel Boone's young sprout. Daniel Boone? A drink, Will. A drink. Have you got the Captain Scrimshaw chart? I got this from hand. Hand? Huh? Fool, you let him hear? You mean he knows where I am? No, nobody follows Judd less than I let him. That's why I was by the Captain's side at the end. Did you get the chart? Supposing... Supposing I don't want to say. I spent years with him in the South Seas before he ran out to Jolly Roger. And I'm the only man that can read that chart. If I croak, you'll never get one doubloon from off the golden line. <laughs> My captain was a, a pretty clever man burying his boys and his treasure. And without his chart, you can dig this coal from, from end and then poor Jack. There's a chart. What are you doing with mate? Curse you for croaking. Curse him for croaking. Where's that chart? Oh. Enlistment papers in His Majesty's Navy? <laughs> Now, what did he keep these for unless he wanted to be hung for desertion? He'll haul the bloke. I never knew the old buzzard was married. Uh, Nancy May, that's a pretty name for a wife.
the old miser. Richard. My diary! to see. Judd couldn't find us and he knew where to look. But if they are lucky, you whisk this away whilst I make a deal with Hand. And if I can't, well, the good Lord made the two of us smarter than the three of them. And that's in our favor. Where could that Judd have got to? Either he stopped bleeding or he don't show on these rocks. I don't like this place. Why'd he come here? This be Black Cove, dummy. Treasure's buried hereabouts. I ain't dumb. Don't call me dummy! Get out of that! Sorry, Jeffrey Sam. Why, you was there as much as me. Uh, maybe more, eh? The peril stood right off that point. Up in the rig and I was. Keeping an eye on the cotton's launch. She rode low in the water, lads, from the weight of gold doubloons. I always admired the captain for that bit of work. Went ashore he did with four men. When he come back, he's all by himself. Not a scratch on him. The captain's gone. The riches of the golden lion are ours. Aye. After we get the captain's map away from Judd. Now, he's got to be hiding underfoot someplace. Might be held up in a cave. Listen to Gentle Sam. He could be right at that. Now, now, the second I give the sign, you get it out of here. Aye, aye, sir. Maybe he's hiding over there in them hills. Will Scattaway ain't far away. Will Scattaway and Judd are in cahoots. That's why Judd come running here. Which way did that bird come from? Out of the rocks below. <laughs> right where I say it. Get out. Keep low behind the rocks. They know we're here. Watch out for Will Scattaway. He'll have a trick up his sleeve. this. 
the one you ordered for the Jimsons the day we arrived in Phoebus. Uh, here's the bill of lading. The rest, I guess, was delivered with the plow. Madras cloth licensed by the East India Company delivered to Rebecca Boone at the sign of the dolphin? I needed it. I suppose we couldn't have made the trip without this fancy plate. Oh, Dan, I'm so tired of our wooden ones. I'm even afraid to try to read this Chinese writing. I fancy it says tea. Cincinnatus hasn't had an out since spring, and everybody needed it. I can think of one person who doesn't need it. Oh, I'm not riled at you, Becky, but... Thank you very much. Dan, I'm rewrapping these smaller parcels to make it easier for you to pack them. Oh, that's very nice. <laughs> doesn't make the wagon any bigger. You know, by the time I've piled all this on top of that, it's going to make this wagon so top-heavy. What are we going to do? <sighs> Go down to Smithy and get a bigger wagon. You bought something with your newly minted silver crown. No, a crow took it. A what? A crow. He flew into my room and traded me for it. Well, I reckon you've seen the last of your corn. Oh, no, sir. I followed him. He had a gold chain around his neck. A crow with a gold chain? Pure, solid gold. Square deal's his name, and a deal's a deal is his motto. He can talk. He lives down by the ocean in a little cave. Well, I always thought he was a parrot. I think he's a pirate. If you use that sort of language, Buccaneer's Plider. Oh, Israel. His best shipmate was named Israel, too. But he ended up climbing the king's rope. What? They hung him. Daniel. I'll talk to him when I get back. We're leaving tomorrow, I hope. And high time. Pa, do you believe me? That's because you exaggerate. And you went to the docks without breakfast after I told you. No, ma'am. Just come with me right now and I'll prove it. Right now, you're going upstairs and you're to comb your hair and wash your face. And then you're going downstairs and apologize to Mrs. Browning for being late. And then you're going to ask her to please feed you. But, Ma, won't you please listen? Did you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Hey, these are pretty. Yes, ma'am. I'm going. But I did see a talking crow. Oh, heavens to Betsy, talking crows, gold chains, pirates. Delivered to Rebecca Boone. Sign of the dolphin. Ahoy, mate! Ah! Hey! Hey! If you don't take something back, it won't be a deal, will it? A deal's a deal, mister. She got something. Oh, evidently, it's ivory. But it's real ivory, too. Well, Scataway sure was right. But this is worth a hundred times more than that old crown. Where is it, Will? Stand up. What'd you do with it? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, next, I suppose you'd be saying you don't know Judd neither, right? I knew Judd, gentle Sam. Uh, see, I might have admitted I did. Why shouldn't he? It don't do us no good, and besides, we know he knew Judd. I, I, that's right. We were all shipmates on the peril, weren't we? Uh, stand up! <laughs> Ready to talk now? Huh? What about? This is your last chance, Will. Where's the map the captain drew to the treasure? I... I never knew that the captain drew a, a map to the treasure. Why don't you shoot him? Let him say goodbye to his last chance of getting the treasure? Always a trick up your sleeve, eh? I... 
Make him swear on the skull. What's the use? He'd lie. Would you lie on the skull? This looks like short Joseph. It is, it is, it is. Uh, he couldn't lie on short Joseph. Not hardly. Now listen to me, Will. When the captain buried the treasure off the Golden Lion, he drew a map so he could find where he buried it. That sounds reasonable. It's a fact. Otherwise, he might as well have thrown the treasure overboard. When they held the captain to be hanged, I offered him a monarch's funeral for that map. Ship made me think to do it. <laughs> the captain gave the turnkey his gold earring to throw Hand out of the cell. Which was Hand's good fortune? Otherwise, they might have kept him and hung him. <laughs> now, Judd was with him at the end. Why? To get that captain's map before he danced on air. Judd practically said so before you run away from us. Give him the question. Will Scattaway lay your hand on the short Joseph? Where is the map the captain drew to the treasure? I swear on short Joseph, I never knew the captain drew such a map. And I never saw such on paper or parchment. You lying? He lied on short Joseph. Shipmate or no, there's nothing else I can do with you. Hand! Look at this. was folded up inside. Ah, square deal. Will knew I'd be after Judd, so he sent that bird away with it. Where'd he take it, Will? Ah, there's no use of asking a man that'd lie on short Joseph. Well, when a man lives right, his rewards come to him. I must have been living right, not even noticed it. There'll be no getting away this time. Abandoned ship! Abandoned ship! Ha-ha! <laughs> Will's in cahoots with a female! Female name of Rebecca Booney. <laughs> Will, you always did have a way with the fair sex, you did. Fair women and black crows strive to please me. Well, they strive too hard this time. Oh! She wanted you to know she got you, Billy Do. Now, we know where we can put our hands on her, and I got ways of making female women talk. Females don't stand up to me the way Will does. You want me to kill him? No, tie him up. most certainly is, and the finest example of scrimshaw carving I've ever seen. How much money is it worth? Israel Boone, you look me in the eye and tell me to whom this valuable ornament belongs. To me, Ma. Don't you dare tell me again a bird brought it. 
all right, I won't. Do you know where it came from? Well, I got an idea. Israel. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I do. Then you march right back with it. But a deal's a deal, Ma. Will Scottaway said so himself. He said it would be mine to keep. I don't know Will Scattaway, but I do know right from wrong, and I expect you to know the same. Now march. Yes, ma'am. But what if Will Scottaway says a deal's a deal, and it belongs to me? We'll face that when we come to it. Now go along. And you come back right afterwards, you hear? So neat. After he cut a head off, he had to give the fellow a pinch of snuff to see if it were properly done. Oh. Ah. Ah. Oh. 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 Are you in pain, Mr. Scattaway? No, 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 son. I'm just getting the circulation back in the old limbs. That's all. apples. Oh! This time, I tell you, we're gonna have a few surprises and we we'll wait for them. I'll ask my pa to help you. Oh, I'm sure that's meant in a friendly way, my boy. Oh. Any pirate he meets up with will be in bad trouble. Well, I, I'm sure of that. You remember what I told you? I remember everything you said. We're shipmates to the end. Well, that's a solemn prophecy come true because you proved yourself to be a true shipmate. Thank you, sir. You saved this old man's life, and I'll be thanking you when it ebbs out to sea for the last time, my boy. Shipmate, the other prophecy also turned out to be true. Who did it now? You know, the one about not taking back my newly minted silver crown. Deal still a deal, isn't it? Well, sure, sure, why not? Well, square deal already traded me this. <laughs> My mother said I must take it back. Well, I'm sure sentiment of noble womanhood, your mother's a fine... I know that. I really do know that. <laughs> she just wouldn't believe me when I tried to tell her that a deal's a deal. I think she would if you told her. I said, if you just explained... I heard, you... Israel, I heard, son. Maybe some other time. Yeah, maybe some other time. Sure, why not? Except we won't be here. You won't be here? Well, well why won't you be here? We're going home. 
All Ma and Pa have done in Phoebus anyhow is buy stuff for the folks in Bonesboro. No, 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 look, lad, before you go home, I wouldn't want you to be disappointed, see? So I'll trade you back this uh, fine, freshly minted crown, you know, for that little piece of broken down ivory there. That... No, thank you. I like the ivory better. Bye. Uh, 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 bye, son. Wait, wait a minute. Uh, look, uh, do, you, do you happen to be a card player? We've got an author's deck back home. Uh, no, that's one I, I, I don't know, authors. Well, say it out three Shakespeare's. Uh, no, 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 that's not what I mean. You see what I mean? Uh, I tell you what, you, you set up the barrel, pull up a seat, I'll get the cards. Okay. Uh, here's a little card game, a seafaring game. We, uh, we call it cutthroat in the, in the, in the forecastle. Why do they? Well, we'll just, oh, well, we'll just play a few games in the open, you know, till you, uh, learn the ins and outs of it, hmm? <laughs> there you are. Cut. Ah, ah, and you need. What a mess! What a mess! Becky. Israel! You, but I didn't believe him. Israel climbed the king's rope. What's this about Israel? They hung him, stupid. There must be something wrong with me talking with a crow. Now get out of here. Oh, weather at the cave. What's this about the cave? Trotting down the hatches, storm ahead. Now hold on a minute. Wait a minute, will you? Don't lose me. All right. Where is it, Beck? Where is what? Where is that treasure map? I don't know anything about a map, and I don't know anything about a treasure. And I think you've been listening to too many sailor stories. Hey, maybe I should wallop her, eh? In a minute. To you, Beck. Oh, don't call me that. All right. Miss Booney, then. Mrs. Daniel Boone. Daniel Boone? Oh, I even heard of him. Well, Will Scottaway and Daniel Boone are in cahoots. So the holier-than-thou Daniel Boone is as much a pirate as the rest of us. Dan is no pirate! Mrs. Boone, you have just been promoted to hostage. He'll give up the treasure to get his missus back, or his half of it, anyhow. How about Will? Well, if Dan wants to split his share with Will, that's up to him. Mad! Mad! You're all mad! Uh... Boone is even sneakier than Will is. He'll have bear traps hit all up and down that cliff. Why, Dan is not sneaky, and if he were here, you wouldn't say that. Turn your hatch. Typhoon, I'm not your leader because I'm simple-minded. I'm tactical. Surprise is the road to booty. Take her away. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Face 
face down. Ah, you were born to this game, Israel. Uh, let, let's make it interesting. It is interesting. Uh, you like my head chopper sword, eh? Oh, yes. As much as that uh, ivory trifle square deal traded you? Well... Oh, how about the sword and the... Uh, these golden doubloons? Gee. Uh, I'll bet you the lot against that, that, that ivory trifle. Oh, no. Well, why not? I'm not allowed to bet. Ah, there's no more time for compassion. Time for what? Ah, just, just look at the sword and, and the doubloons. They are interesting. Ah, I've got no more character. I'm getting old. Well, now, you may not get any older. Pa! Outside. Where's my wife? Standing watch, mate. Standing watch. You stand watch for both of us. Can I ask you a question? Where's my wife? Well, I have a shrewd idea who took her, and it wasn't me. Was it them pirates? Yeah. My shipmates from aboard the old peril. Then there really was a peril. Uh, Hand was a third mate. Ferocious and cunning man. And if I know him, he'll be coming back here. But what do they want with Ma? Well, son, you might as well know soon as late. It was my doing. Otherwise, old Will would be a dead man. Just tell it. Well, if the young sprout will... If I could just have the scrimshaw carving, have I? Israel? Uh, this is what Hand wants, only he don't know what it is. Then how can he want it? Well, if I could step past without getting a hole in me gizzard, I'd... Gaze upon black coal. First time I laid eyes on it was two days after we sacked the Golden Lion. Ah, the Golden Lion. A rich prize she was. Every man jack on the peril put his back into the task as we raised every inch of sail and close for battle. She took. Short Joseph at the wheel when he ended his day. Fire and cannonball were everywhere. Still, the Golden Lion was no match for the skill and daring of the men of the peril. It was only a matter of time till the crew of that prize ship lay dead on her decks. Dead to a man. We got her treasure aboard. Ah, but we were sore hurt. We barely managed to limp into this cove and beat her for repairs. Ah, that ship brought us fame and it brought us trouble. A ship of war was at our heels when we hid there. We set out to sea with the treasure in our holes. Well, His Majesty has ropes enough. Bury it, the captain said. Sounds reasonable. Ah, he was a reasonable man. Well, he buried the treasure and we set safely out to sea. And from that day on, every man Jack thought the treasure was his own. And day after day, they kept searching for the parchment map. And, and day after day, the captain, as if he didn't know what I was up to, he said, scribing his scrimshaw. And only I knew what it was. And this is the uh, 
chart of the place where the treasure's buried. Aye, clear as print to those that can read it, and I can read it. But where are the letters? Letters, letters are for educated people. Gypsy knots, signs that thieves leave on walls. And secrets Jack Tar scribes in a whale's tooth. They shout out loud to me. Is, is that the peril? Yes, yes, it's anchored in the deep, can't you see? And there's the captain's longboat. And, and the stone lion guarding the treasure. You mean that rock is supposed to be a lion? Yeah, you've got to use your imagination. The number 14 on the ship, does that mean the number of paces? Aye, to old Neptune's trident there. An old Neptune's trident is where the treasure's buried. Well, that's what the captain would hope he'd think, see. And you'd dig and dig and dig till you're old and gray, and you'd find nary a farthing. Uh, look, look, look. Look there. Look out there. Trident shows the opening. Ah, oh, even more. Now, now. Now, look here. The center tines a compass pointing true to the North Star. Now, the outer rim's a path to follow. Moving by the clock, as every sailor of this side of the equator knows. North by the star, northwest by north, due east. Hey, <laughs> your father made a fine sailor, Israel. The North Star's over the woods, too. Due east. That brings us out just above the high tide line. South. Circling southeast. Due south to a point just level with the opening in the rock. <laughs> with your two feet standing on your own 50,000 golden doubloons. My golden doubloons. He's dividing the treasure with us, Pa. Well, now, Israel, you've got to own before you can divide. Well spoken, Mr. Boone. Beauty, Mr. Boone, that, that, that's hand. No, Pa, they'll kill Ma. It's all right, Israel. Mr. Boone, looks like we both got what the other one wants. Are you all right, Becky? Yes. Oh, she's all right for now. He won't hurt her unless I say so, but if I do... That old square deal was supposed to be standing guard. Foul play, mates, foul play. Breakers ahead, breakers ahead. Mr. Boone, I got a deal for you. What kind of deal? I get the treasure map, you get Mrs. Boone. It's a deal. Well, I reckon I agree, especially uh, when there's nothing I can do about it. Well, you ain't gonna give him the treasure. Let me have the chart. But, but you can't trust it. One minute after he gets his hands on it, he's just gonna... Stay put. The captain has come to life again. Why, he'd have killed us both, Will, without turning a hair. I admire that in a man. Scattaway. Yeah, well, I, m I must have uh, dropped it in. Hand it over. What's that? What are you up to? You've seen it before, haven't you? You get it. The Captain Scrimshaw. No wonder we were never able to find that chart. He never even bothered to hide it. Not, son. 
least the owner of the Golden Lion will get their money back. I know Lloyds of London will be pleased about that. Well, unless they're told, they'll never know. They will. Be. Yeah, but suppose I say you take two thirds, we forget Lloyds, both of us, huh? Paul wouldn't do a thing like that. Well, I, I found out a man loses his character and grows soft with advancing age. And I suppose the same is true with you. Well, anyway, Lloyds of London is offering a reward. Well, now, I've heard that, Israel, but don't count on it. Now, you, you, you don't suppose. Well, now, if it comes, it's all yours. <laughs> well, that's something, anyhow. Let's, let's start digging. It's a deal. Hey. <laughs> Make her fast. Yeah, taut as taut can be. Ah. There we are. Ship shape. Oh, no, Becky. But these are our things, Dan. Slack her off, Will. All right. Stand by to receive aboard. Becky, you're going to have to drive. Will and I will have to walk alongside to steady it. Yeah, if we run into rough weather, we can throw out a sea anchor. Ah. Come on, boy. Play deal. Fly with me. Oh, you have no principles. He has a deal's a deal. All right, move out, Becky. Yep. Well, after you visit the Boonesboro, you're going to go back to sea? Well, we haven't made up our minds. Buccaneering's pretty played out as a trade. Well, you can get some money from Lloyd's. You could buy a store in Boonesboro. Afraid I wasn't cut out to be a storekeeper, mate. Oh, I don't know, Will. A retired uh, buccaneer with a talking crow for a partner? Well, here's a deal. <laughs> 